There are three possible ways to use two Fireface 800 units together on a single computer. First method is via FireWire 800. If your computer supports FireWire 800, you can simply daisy chain the units with two FireWire 800 cables and synchronize the units via word clock. This method will allow the use of all the analog and digital I.O. on both Fireface 800s. First, connect the FireWire 800 cable from the computer to the first Fireface. Then, connect the second FireWire 800 cable from the additional port on the first unit to a FireWire 800 port on the second unit. Connect a 75 ohm BNC cable from the word clock out on the first unit to the word clock in on the second unit. Activate the 75 ohm termination switch on the word clock input. In the Fireface settings, you set the first Fireface to clock mode Master. Then select Unit 2 and set this Fireface to clock mode Auto Sync and preferred sync reference Word Clock. The second method is connection via FireWire 400. If you only have FireWire 400 available on your computer, this method will allow use of all analog I.O. for two Fireface 800 units, as well as SPDIF on both units. Connect a FireWire 400 cable from the computer to the first Fireface 800. Then connect a FireWire 800 cable from the first unit to a FireWire 800 port on the second unit. Connect a 75 ohm BNC cable from the word clock output on the first unit to the word clock input on the second unit. Activate the 75 ohm termination switch on the word clock input. Use the limit bandwidth settings on both units to reduce the channel count to analog plus SPDIF for each unit. This will avoid overloading the FireWire 400 bus. In the Fireface settings application, set the first Fireface to Clock Mode Master. Then select Unit 2 and set this Fireface to Clock Mode Auto Sync and Preferred Sync Reference Word Clock. On a Windows ASIO host, the Fireface 800 driver already supports two units, so your software will see both Firefaces as a single large device. On the Mac, Core Audio requires you to create an aggregate device to allow your software to access both units simultaneously. Just open Audio MIDI Setup, then select Aggregate Device from the Audio menu. Select the units you want to combine, and click Done. Now the aggregate device is available to any Core Audio application. Both of these methods will result in having two independent Fireface Mixer windows. This can create a complicated routing scenario when using the Fireface Mixer for direct monitoring in place of software monitoring. Please refer to the Total Mix tutorial videos for help with using submixes to route signal from one mixer to the other via ADAT or SPDIF. Is there a better way? In the case of the second scenario, there is another possibility that can work better, especially when considering direct monitoring issues. You can set up one of your Fireface 800s for standalone operation. Once completed, this Fireface will essentially act as a standard ADDA converter and connect to the other Fireface via ADAT cables. You can connect both units to the computer with FireWire 800 or FireWire 400 and 800 cables as shown previously, or you can connect each unit one at a time to reproduce these settings. The unit that you plan to use in standalone mode has to be connected in order to store the routing and settings in the unit's memory. Connect ADAT out of the standalone Fireface to ADAT in on the connected Fireface. Connect ADAT out of the connected Fireface to ADAT in on the standalone unit. On the standalone unit, change the Fireface settings to Clock Mode Auto Sync and Preferred Sync Reference ADAT1. Then click the Store button to save these settings in memory. Next, we will route analog inputs to ADAT out and ADAT in to analog outputs. Open up the Fireface Mixer for the standalone unit. Select View Matrix in the toolbar for easier routing. Then create the routings you see here. In1 to A11. 
N2 to A12, and so on, as seen here. Then route N13 to AN1, N14 to AN2, and so on. Once you've completed this, select Options, Flash Current Mixer State to save these routings in memory. Now the unit is ready for standalone operation. Power it off, disconnect the FireWire connection from the standalone unit, and power it back on. Now it loads the settings and routings we just created from internal memory. The analog I.O. on the standalone unit are accessible via the ADAP ports of the connected unit.